Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a company that I've never really done a review on any of their products before. Mostly because I only own one thing and that was one lipstick and it wasn't that good. So I've never really mentioned it. And that would be Melt Cosmetics. So this video in particular is about their radioactive stack which is an eyeshadow stack is the only way to describe it. Instead of doing the usual palettes, which a lot of other companies do, Melt Cosmetics kind of step away, step out of the box a little bit to try and do something a little bit more unique. So they are a boutique cult beauty brand based in the US. They have got lots of lipsticks, which was the first thing that I think that they ever released, and then followed by some eyeshadow stacks. So they've got one which is called Love Sick Stack, which I also bought at the same time as getting the radioactive one, but I haven't actually used that one yet. And then there's one other one, which I don't have, and this is the radioactive one. So altogether they have, I think, three stacks um, out for the general public, and I have got two of them. So... This one is the Radioactive Stack. Why have I decided to suddenly do a review on this today? Because it's flipping awesome, it's bright, it's out there, it's neon, it's radioactive, it's very Charlena, it's very me. And as soon as I saw it, as soon as it was released, I was like, click, click, mine. So I think that they do ship internationally, I'm not too sure, but I used the company My Mallbox, which is a US-based shipping company, which I've mentioned many a time, to have it shipped over to me. And I bought a couple of things at the same time and I didn't at that point get a customs charge, which is obviously great. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you the promo card that came with the package. So this is one of the owners. I can't remember her name. Laura, Lorna, Lorna, Laura, Lorna, something with an L. And she is absolutely stunning. As you can tell, this is an amazing promo picture for the four eyeshadows, which are over here. And then this is what they look like all together, the radioactive stack with the four different shadows. Two of them are pressed pigments and what, two of them are normal eyeshadows. I really like that they put a lot, lot of effort into their packaging, especially for this one because it is such a different kind of thing. It's not often that brands come out with very bright neon shades which are considered unwearable to a lot of people, except for myself, obviously. So this is what the packaging look like. Look at it, it's holographic, it's gorgeous. I love the fact that they've put so much effort into this. It kind of makes the price tag a little bit more justifiable which is $48 by the way, it's not cheap, it is quite pricey, I find that Mel Cosmetics in general, their prices are more at the higher end, their lipsticks are quite expensive, I think there's only one or two companies in the UK that sell their lipsticks, and they sell them at a very high marked up price, which I think is unfair and wrong, they also tend to showcase themselves, I can't remember what called, the company's called, at IMATS I saw them, and they were selling their lipsticks for over 20 quid, and I was like, what the, their lipsticks are all right, but they're not like that, you know, worth that much, but if you choose to pay that amount of money, you can't complain really, I didn't. So here's what it looks like, holographic and awesome, and it says melt. So as with a lot of pressed pigments, it says radon and radioactive pressed pigments contain ingredients that are not approved for the eyes. Did I put all of them on my eyes? Yes. Again, it's the same with MAC. A lot of their pigments and things, sometimes you aren't allowed to wear them on their eyes. It's down to personal choice. The company is obliged to let you know that there are ingredients in here which are not eye safe. Whether or not you choose to go and do it anyway, that's all on you. So the fact that I've chosen to put these on my eyes, it's all on me. And if anything happens, I'm liable for myself. They've told me don't do it, but he did. So anyway, so... Here is me using all of them on my eyes today and I've whacked on some glitter as well and you will be happy to know that I have filmed this entire over the top bright makeup look. I really fancied doing something different. I hope that you guys like it. So this is what it looks like all together. A stack, it is literally a stack. And what I love about it and how different it is is that this is magnetic. And you can shift them around so that you can have a look at them properly. <laughs> I'm making a bit of a pig's ear of it. Here you go. Try not to drop them. Don't drop them. Here we go. And then this one has a little mirror. This is the lid. It has a little mirror. So it's really easy and convenient for travelling. 
that's excellent so again you can see why they've spent so much money especially on the product 48 dollars tends to cover a lot of the packaging they've always spent a lot of money on the packaging and the magnetic packaging as well so let me show you the actual eyeshadows themselves obviously like i've said i've got them on my eyes today but this is more of an in-depth to do with these actual shadows so that you can see them not blended out and mixed with other things so we'll start off with the bottom one which is called radioactive pressed pigment and it is the bright fuchsia one it looks like this and it looks like this it is a gorgeous hot pink pressed pigment and it is stunning and very very pigmented and it does kick up a bit of dust i find that all four of them actually do kick up quite a bit of dust so make sure you tap them off before you use them this is the second pressed pigment called radon and this one is a gorgeous bright orange it's got some slight pink iridescence to it. I noticed when I put it on my lower lash line. It's a gorgeous, a gorgeous colour. Shade is called Xenon. And this is a gorgeous iridescent limey green colour. Got a real nice amount of sheen to it. And then this final shade is called Neon. And this is a beautiful bright yellow. And it's got lots of golden flecks in it. And then as I said, there's the mirror on the top which is pretty good actually for using for your eyes for close-up detail work and that's it for the melt cosmetics radioactive stack do i think it's worth it yes i do i actually think this is an excellent excellent product but it's only for the kind of people that will tend to wear something like this this isn't for your everyday kind of makeup this isn't for your everyday kind of gal this isn't for the kind of person who's scared to wear color don't spend 48 dollars on something just because you like the look of it but you're never actually going to use it otherwise it's a waste of money it's a waste of money yes i did say that it is a waste of money otherwise so these are for those of you that love your bright amazing stunning out there different unique sort of colors i think it's actually very very good the color quality payoff is excellent as you can see they are all four of them quite powdery so you do have to tap them off quite a bit which is a bit annoying i haven't used the other the love stack love set the love set whatever the other one i haven't used that one yet so you guys can let me know i'm sure there's quite a few of you that have tried the melt cosmetic stacks eyeshadow stacks before and i haven't are they all that powdery and kick up that much dust which is a bit annoying but i do find that ones which have got a little bit of extra powder to them they do tend to blend out a lot easily i found blending with these to be really really good i really love the green and the yellow and the way that they work together so yeah so that's what I have to say about the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Stack. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it useful, whether or not you're going to choose to buy it or not. The makeup look on this will be up quite soon so that you guys can see how I went for... Well, how you can use something like this. I think that a lot of people do want to buy something like this but they're too scared to or they're a bit unsure about how to put the colors together so this was me literally just kind of going overboard and i just wanted to wear everything and anything so i just did so let me know what you think anyway so i hope that you guys are all great i hope that you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in the next one bye